Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Between episodes during the during my break, it occurred to me I could probably make a much more functional lawnmower by making it you know, basically manual rather than creating a zonai powered. For a moment there, I thought I had a boulder rolling down on me. It was just tumbleweed. But rather than make a uh, Zonai powered lawnmower using just a few sticks I could create a manual one that I put on my horse okay there's enemies up here fortunately I happen to have a send ready Boy, that wolf is climbing that cliff. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies up here. I suppose that stands to reason. Hmm. Suddenly I'm not all that enthused about exploring this area up here. I'm not a big fan of just charging on in to enemies and fighting them for you know, just because they're there. I prefer to do it if you know there's an actual reason. Like it'll allow me to get someplace or accomplish some goal that I want or need to do. Jeez, another tumbleweed just flying out of nowhere. Mm. Well, let's not abandon the, the plan of exploring up here quite yet. Probably going up into the cold area. I mean, this is basically taking me to the Gerudo Highlands, isn't it? Well, hmm. Let's look more closely at the map. Okay, there's a chasm there. Yeah, this is taking me up to the Garuda Highlands. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Somewhere over here, I think right here, 
Yeah, a statue. In Breath of the Wild, there was a statue here. Yeah, it's a fair distance away, but you know, worth taking a look, I think. Let's see. It'll be quite the trip either way, whether I go up or go around. Hmm. Let's try going up. Boy, another tumbleweed. Someone up there really likes throwing tumbleweeds at me. for that swift violet. And there's a rush room over there. Not in the snow yet. Lots of tumbleweeds. Hmm. Seems like a random rock. Hmm. Nothing underneath it. I have a few things I could fuse it to, but uh, I really need to save these. And I need an axe head for this one. Okay, well I think I've gone, gone high enough on the ridge that I should be able to walk most of the rest of the way. I'd like to see that statue. I can vaguely remember there was something about uh, the remaining piece of the tingle gear being near a statue of a heroine. Misko's Treasure, Heroine's Manuscript. Statues of the eight heroines reside in the desert. Enter the valley carved into Hamar's descent and shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. Yeah, that's exactly where I am, isn't that? The Hamar's descent? Yeah. Shh. Shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. Hmm. wanted to get uh, at least two of them. So much for that with my broken, broken bow. Oh well, I got a piece of gourmet meat from the one. Oh 
Oh no, you don't. Shine the light of day. Well, it's night right now. Boy, another tumbleweed. Boy. Someone up there either really hates tumbleweeds or just wants to pelt me with one. It's looking kind of reddish here. Are we getting a blood moon? think we are. If it was a blood moon, I'd probably be seeing all the red tendrils over the mountain right now. Yeah, and I'd already be getting the animation with the creepy music. Because it just passed 1130. Oh, cold. Also, a uh, winter wolf, or whatever those things are called. Boy, there's lots of ice likes here. Not that they can do anything to me, I'm unfreezable. trying to get this. Huh. That would be a good weapon to have. of ice likes. Nice try.
far up. Of course it is. Why did I even ask? This is kind of an awkward spot to be in. Okay, shine the light of day on it. Oh, look at that. I should have just used that updraft right there. Yeah, there is a uh, target there above its hands. And we have a shrine here, do we? Hmm. What's the time? It's about 4 a.m. Come on over here, bat. Come on. Okay. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do. Use a mirror to reflect light onto that thing. Oh, look at that. There's a, a barred gate right there. Let me guess. That's the activation point to open it. can I do this from? Right, up we go. What? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see here. Do I have any... I do have a mirror. And, uh... All right. I can redirect the light. Problem is getting some sunlight down there.
<laughs> okay, if I didn't have any mirrors, that would have solved that. Okay, this is kind of awkward. Let's see. Let's get back over here and get back up. So right now, the sun is behind that big old mountain. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tulin took him out the very instant he showed his face. And presumably the sun will come out from behind that mountain eventually. I get the feeling it's going to take a while though. Like maybe noon time. Hmm. I could make myself a fire and sit down and wait. Or I could go over to that shrine. Shrines always take longer than it seems like they're going to, though. If I go to check out the shrine, I'll probably miss it. It'll probably take too long and I'll miss my chance. Uh, no, that's not an axe blade. There's a Koro target over there. Hmm. I guess I could go after that. Oh, there's a Gleok over there. What is that thing? Must be an enemy encampment of some sort. Back to the statue. Oh, the sun's just about in the right position. Still not quite high enough, but nearly so. Is that a place I could stand? I don't think it is.
Looks like the upheaval knocked its face off. Come on, son. I get the feeling you're like almost there. quite there. Do I have to... Ref uh, have put up a couple of mirrors, like one over there, to reflect in this direction? stood here myself. Okay, well, no matter. Let's see what we've got. Statue of the Eighth Heroine Cave. Oh, Gibdo. Do I have... I don't have a hydrant shield. Okay. was actually thinking of creating a uh, let's see basically a weaponized hydrant spinner Well, that's no good. Oh, 
Go for the- get out of the way, you stupid hydrant. Oops. Darn it, I hate it. Oversized thumb keeps missing the A button. Stabilizers are only three. Uh, I need to find more. This one doesn't seem to want to actually be affected by it. Okay. That was effective. Once I actually got around, got past the trouble I was having building the blasted thing. Oh, this is a wedge shaped rock. Guster broke, but it did the job. Okay. Got the 
rest of that. You know, once I stopped being incompetent in building this blasted thing, it worked really well. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm done here. Well done, weaponized hydrant machine. You made short work of those guys. Right then, there was a shrine up there. Let's go see about it. do about it though. I wonder if those Gibdos down there respawn with the Blood Moon. If they do, that would be a good place to farm Gibdo bones. Why did my Hydrant Shield suddenly start Hydranting? there all this wood here okay I got some frost pebbets so I can bust up this is much faster than picking them up and throwing them Some more dazzle fruits here to replace the one I just threw, and then some. So, shrine. What? Oh, Pfft. there I was talking about the blood moon not that long ago. Welp. I might as well go back down to that cave and check once I'm done here. When the glow Alrighty then. This weapon isn't really useful for much more. So Yeah, this one. Hydrant shield, not all that great either. <laughs> Spring shield, why not? Alrighty 
then what have we got a blessing shrine just sitting out in the middle of everywhere um no i don't buy it Okay, this no, then I don't buy it. I've been expecting one of these to be a rug pull for a while now and my my spidey senses are tingling here. It wasn't a puzzle to get in, it was just sitting in the middle of everywhere. Okay, um, <laughs> maybe I'm too suspicious. <laughs> stick a couple steering sticks it looks like <laughs> Tulin just okay I was gonna say just shoot it already <laughs> This fan is not glued on, so that means I can't remove it. So I can't make my air bike out of all this stuff. That's a shame. think you're going Jeez, another one where are all these things coming from I was certain that shrine was going to be some kind of trick. I'm still not entirely convinced that it wasn't.
These guys are all back. Huh. Well, of course they are. The blood moon just happened. Um, here it is. Gotta do it the slow way now. All right, let's see if those Gibdos have respawned. And if they have, let's make Hydrant Bot again. Yep, they rock. Okay, what did I need for Hydrant Bot? Um, hmm. I needed a uh, homing cart, a wheel, two hydrants, and a stabilizer. I need more stabilizers. I'm running low. Okay, so, homing cart, no, not two wheels, no, oh, blast it, I thought I messed that up, okay, so, homing cart, stabilizer, wheel, two hydrants, I do believe that was it. about that in a bit. First let's get this one guy out of the way. Oh.
<laughs> it just wrecks them. Gibdo wing, a wing that catches the light. Hmm. Arrows and thrown weapons fly further with this item attached. Okay. Yeah, that just works. It utterly wrecks them. pile of dust right there, isn't it? Don't really need that anymore. This is not how I expected this episode to go, but overall, decently productive, I think. And you, once again, have acquitted yourself marvelously. Well done. Now, I really need to find more stabilizers. check mark on it that means I've found everything in there let's see 
Stabilizers? No. No stabilizers. Nope. Nope. Huh. I don't know what the first item there is. Well, stabilizers are here. Kind of low, pro kind of low on the list, though. So I think that makes it difficult to get them there. Hmm. If I can't find another one, though, I might have to try it anyway. have to try that one anyway. And I wonder what the first item on that one is. Okay. Well, this is the only place where I can find stabilizers, so let's go there. Yeah, I expected to explore those cliffside uh, structures and instead ended up going to uh, the goddess statue there. And I forgot this is a low gravity area. Okay, there's at least one stabilizer. Two. Okay, I got a few. A few. Okay, they aren't too rare. Okay, that should be good. Keep me going with stabilizers for a little bit longer. Right. This one, I don't know what's on the top part yet. Let's let's go there and see if I can figure it out. What kind of bird is that? Accented pigeon. Looks like I already have them. Yeah, I already have them. And the old one's a better picture than that. Okay, where's the gotcha machine? Over there. Alright, no low gravity section here. I wasn't sure about that, so I figured I'd better test it.
Okay, so... Come on, show me the gotcha machine. Beam emitters. Okay. I guess I could use more of those, too. Go get some more. Lightning has a tendency to strike anything metallic, remove metal stuff before you get fried. Or alternately, put on gear that makes you completely immune to electricity and let lightning strike you while there are enemies nearby. see a couple beam emitters. Ah oh, well, good enough. Right then. Well. There is a bit of a problem here in that I know what I want to do, I'm just not sure where I should do it. What I'm going to try is going here to Dueling Peak Stable. I am going to try to make another lawnmower, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to make the um, manual version, where I'm hauling it behind my horse instead of making a Zonai device. But that's going to be in the next episode because this one has reached the end. Nasty weather, but eh, what you're going to do? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on more appropriate gear for it. I actually have a hood and all that. Right. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, as I just said, I'm going down to Dueling Peak Stable to get one of my horses out. And then I'm going to find a place where I can build a uh, lawnmower, a uh, horse-powered lawnmower. That's my plan for at least the beginning of the next episode, and we'll see where it takes us from there. See you then.